Hey, this is Aaron with Simple Tix. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the button per event. Um, that's what's special right here. So basically, this site has a dozen different events, but we're only going to change this button text right here from buy tickets to get a table um, only for this one event. All right, so let's dive in. So the first thing we're going to do is um, go over to settings and Actually, I believe the conversion tracking code is the place where we can tuck in some JavaScript to take care of this. Um, so the very first thing I'm gonna do right now is get the ID number of this show. So if I right click on this button and go to inspect, I will get the ID number of the show and here it is right here. So I'm gonna copy that and um, paste it somewhere. Um, actually, let's go ahead and paste it directly right, right here. All right, now we have this um, template of how to change the button. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and basically this is saying, hey, is it JavaScript um, on page load? Find the show ID and change the text to say by table. All right, let's copy that ID number from there, paste it right here, and then click save. And um, now that should have made the change. So one thing I'll do before I leave this is um, go over to events and republish this event. So here is the event. I'll find it on my event page right here. I'll click it and I'll force it to get republished. So I'll click the save button right here and that's going to republish our page. All right, so I'll go over here now and hit refresh on this page. And presto, it says by table. So as you can see in this video, um, we were able to change it just for this one event. It didn't change it for all the events. And what I'll do right now is I'll go to the list of all of our events and I'll click a different event. So I'll click this event right here and I notice it doesn't change it for this. Um, so what we did right now is we only changed it for that one specific event. So I click another event, totally fine. And for this event, it's perfectly fixed. Awesome. All right, let's do one more example. Um, this event right here, let's change it to say get tickets. So I'll right click on this, I'll click inspect. And um, again, I'll capture that ID number, copy that, go over to my pixel track tracking page. Here it is. And so here I'll show you a couple of different things that we can do. Um, so if I wanna have um, two label changes right after the other, put one right here, put one right here, copy that ID number, put that ID number right here, and I'll say um, get tickets, get tickets, there it is. I can indent that to make it a little bit more tidy. Um, yep, perfect. So we're saying this show ID, say buy tables is, a, is the label. This one over here, say get tickets, awesome. So I'll click save, it's been saved. And I don't think I can just simply click refresh. Actually, yep, I can hit refresh right away. I'll have to republish the page. So it says get tickets to this event. All right, so just like before, let's double check that we didn't alter any other event. I'll click another event here and it says buy tickets. Awesome. So in this video today, I showed you how to change um, the button label per event and it doesn't affect all events it's very specific to the event awesome all right thanks a lot for watching bye now